culturally, we've been conditioned to believe that we have to demand attention at all times. Yeah. We have to be noteworthy. We have to be interesting. We have to be front and center, right? And you've got all these sayings that back it up, right? The greasy wheel is the one that gets the, or the squeaky wheel gets the grease, right? Like you've got all these ideas that are permeating through our culture that tell us you have to constantly be noteworthy and relevant or else you are irrelevant. It's what we believe is the absolute antithesis of what is accurate and true but it's also the antithesis of what we will land on using our own logical, rational thought process. Because you and I both get it and everybody listening gets it too. Somehow they simultaneously understand that the real power in life comes from being anonymous. But we're doing everything in our power to not be anonymous day to day. We're trying to get our boss's attention. We're trying to post our life on social media. We're trying to get likes and friend requests and thumbs ups. We want to make other people happy. We're doing the opposite of what we already know we should be doing. A big part of what spies are trained to do is simply understand the rational, logical side of how human beings think and then use the fact that they don't like abuse or manipulate the fact that human beings don't use their rational brain. They use their emotional brain to make decisions that they then later rationalize. Yeah, it's and it's ironic, you know, two guys here that are, you know, Internet personalities at some level. Right. And talking about the the power of anonymity. But I think it's like, you know, I, I come from I'm a former professional jazz musician. And so I think for me, where I I develop this keen sense of call it dichotomy is like as a jazz musician or, or any type of performing artist, you have a certain relatively small period, like windows of your life, like maybe a four hour gig on a Friday night, where it's all about being highly visible in your craft. But the 95% in music, we call it woodshedding. You go lock yourself in a eight by eight practice room, you know, windowless box, and you just spend hours in there doing work that nobody ever sees. And that's when your craft is forged. And so, you know, now I, I, I say, let's say to, to kind of map that analogy to the modern success model where it's all like hyper visual and, and hyper hyperbolic, hyper, like exaggerated and, and, vis and, and graphically intensified via social media. I think, I think for young people or, or not young people, but people that are young in their success journey, let's say people that are like, I want to make a change and I'm not where I want to be. They go to these mediums and they see this image and there's a tendency. It's kind of like the spy thing, right? Like if we, we think that being a spy consists of the very tiny percentage that gets dramatized in movies, we think that being successful consists of the very tiny percentage that gets dramatized through social media but it's the 95% in the woodshed or to your point in micromanaging the hundred different touch points a day to not be detected or for the average person to be underestimated because yeah, maybe they see you as like a funny guy that can crack a joke, but they don't also realize that you're like a brilliant practitioner of a highly technical skill. And the one guy that does realize that you have that ability is the person that can give you a seven figure a year consulting job or something like there's, it's managing optics and relationships exactly. is like the key to life it is it's it's for sure it's the key to success yeah whether okay, or not you want to say it's the key to life it is absolutely the key to success and i love that you used two words i love that you talked about woodshedding and i love that you talked about your trade because i want to take this back to very the very beginning of our conversation where you talked about how you were learning about trade craft right Tradecraft is the terminology that cia officers and undercover operatives around the world use to describe the craft of espionage. And espionage is really, the, the term espionage really just means the illegal stealing of secrets. That is what espionage is. Mm -hmm.